very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, and to Jim McQuarrie. Today's markup is anything but a mock. In terms of shaping a new trade policy, it is very real. For us on this side, and I would hope beyond, there is a basic issue. Should trade policy be written so that trade is shaped to expand its benefits broadly, more broadly than in the past? If so, workers must be a vital part of the trade equation. That means that basic rights of workers, as stated in the 1998 ILO Declaration, must be written into the body of the FTA, subject to the same dispute settlement process and remedies as all other provisions in the FTA. For the first time, the U.S.-Peru agreement does so. If so, basic environmental provisions with enforceability must be written into the FTA so that trade does not depend on who can most degrade their environment. For the first time, this FTA requires that the parties must enforce multilateral environmental agreements and specific to Peru, major steps to curb illegal logging. And if so, millions in need of vital medicines must have access to them. For the first time, this FTA contains provisions to assure that the rules on intellectual property help bring this about. The U.S.-Peru FTA was renegotiated to incorporate these key changes as first steps toward a new trade policy. Addressing these basic changes, which were central to the minority, now the majority's opposition to CAFTA, these key provisions were incorporated in the May 10th agreement between Congress and the administration. As a result, the U.S.-Peru FTA is neither NAFTA nor CAFTA. As stated by us on May 10th, while these new provisions were vital to each FTA, each one must be fully considered on its own. The Peru FTA is not a one-size-fits-all template for FTAs. And I emphasize this. Each FTA presents its own unique issues that must be addressed, whether it is Panama, Colombia, or South Korea. And to ensure that the vital changes in the provisions of the Peru FTA were reflected in action to implement them, we engaged Peru in their effort to undertake changes in their legal structures to implement the unprecedented inclusion of the five basic worker rights standards as stated in the ILO Declaration. In implementing those obligations of his country, the Peruvian President Garcia has heralded the U.S.-Peru FTA as, in his words, a new New Deal for international trade to bring about the broader sharing of the benefits of expanded trade for workers. I strongly urge support for the U.S.-Peru FTA. It is an important step toward a new trade policy, one that takes on the essential need to expand the sharing of benefits of expanded trade and addressing its downsides. Doing so is vital to making globalization work.